Namaste. I'm Dr. Malati Panchavag. I'm an anesthesiologist and a perioperative physician here at the MVD Center in Pune. Trigeminal neuralgia is more commonly seen in the V2, the maxillary division, or the V3, the mandibular division. The V1 or the ophthalmic division trigeminal neuralgia is a little rare as compared to the previous two types. Quite frequently, trigeminal neuralgia is also seen in a combination of these divisions like V1 and V2 or V2 and V3 or sometimes in all three divisions. The treatment for trigeminal neuralgia are several. It could be medical, other non-invasive treatments, or surgical treatment. Medical treatment is generally by medicines that are given through the mouth. While initiating and maintaining medical treatment, one has to always get a balance between achieving adequate effect while containing the side effects of these medications. The next option is that of non-invasive techniques which could involve radiofrequency ablation, alcohol injections, uh, balloon compressions, or even gamma knife radiation. The advantage of non-invasive treatment is that they require admission for only a single day and is, they are generally useful in patients who are considered too high risk for surgery. But the problems with these non-invasive treatment is that nearly all of them are temporary and they are much less effective than the surgical option. So we come to option number three, which is MVD surgery. And the greatest advantage of MVD surgery is that it is the most effective of all the treatments that are available for trigeminal neuralgia. And it is the only treatment that affords a possibility of long-term pain relief. But it is a surgery and will require at least three to five days of hospitalization. The patient has to be wise in choosing a surgeon or a surgical team which is experienced in performing MVD surgery. This helps to achieve long-term pain relief and increase the chances of achieving the long-term pain relief and also reducing the risks at the same time. Why MVD has got such a high potential of curing trigeminal neuralgia? People are put on medicines. The graph of this disease generally, generally is uh, the one increasing in intensity as the months and years pass. The doses of the medicines go on increasing. People feel that their pain is controlled for few hours after taking medicine. Actually, what is happening is that the person is living in a continuous dread of pain. Also, the drugs have their own problems because these drugs they numb the trigeminal nerve. Unfortunately, they don't know that they have to numb only this nerve. So they numb the entire nervous system. There are problems with increasing doses of drugs. There are problems of loss of memory, loss of balance while walking. On the whole, the life loses its meaning. And the pain, which was restricted to one part of face, has got converted into what is called as chronic pain syndrome. The whole personality changes, interpersonal relationships suffer. The life, though at times, pain free because of the drugs is not as it should be. We have to aim at stopping this negative cycle and that's why we have to choose a procedure which has got a potential to cure this problem. Now microvascular decompression surgery certainly is uh, the best choice if we want to cure these people provided the cases are selected properly. But the chance of cure is something that we should not deny and in my opinion it should be given very early in the course of disease. That doesn't mean that it should be given so early that within first two, three months a person should be operated after diagnosis. But when you are sure that this disease is diagnosed properly and the intensity is increasing then one should not just mindlessly go on increasing the uh, drugs. Also there are few procedures which are performed on the nerve which uh, 
aim at destroying some part of the nerve like uh, radio frequency lesioning. These procedures are destructive procedures and in my opinion and in our group's opinion at least microvascular decompression is the only procedure which actually removes the compressive element on the nerve and has got the potential to cure these patients. And that is why we advise microvascular decompression relatively early in the course of the disease. So this is the power of MVD surgery provided it is performed by uh, a team which is experienced in this surgery and I have no hesitation in saying this because I do believe that the entire team has to be well prepared for this surgery, has to be experienced in this surgery, has to know which instruments can be used. For example, we use microscope as well as endoscope in these cases. We have encountered various variations and in fact classified the types of uh, compressions that can be seen in this disorder. Microvascular decompression or MVD is really one of the fantastic options for treating uh, trigeminal neuralgia and indeed the best option in my opinion to cure trigeminal neuralgia. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about other features of trigeminal neuralgia and the trigeminal neuralgia center in Pune, then please watch other videos that I have made on trigeminal neuralgia. We have been performing focused surgeries on this subject for last 15 years. In experienced hands, MVD surgery is safe and the benefits of surgery far, far outweigh the risks associated with surgery. So choosing the right surgeon and the right surgical team is the most important decision that you will have to make. Thank you. And here's wishing you all the best of health and best of luck for the year 2025.